unit 3 integer programming a linear programming problem in which uh, all the variables whose optimal uh, solution must be a non negative integer values this is called the integer programming problem we can solve this integer programming problem by three methods first one is gomori's cut method which is applicable only for maximization problems second is by mixed gomori's cut method third method is by branch and bound technique now let us solve integer programming problem uh, by gomori's cut method the problem given is maximization and the objective function is z equal to 2x plus 3y and the subject to constraints are 2x plus 2y less than or equal to 7 x less than or equal to 2 and y less than or equal to 2 where uh, the variables x and y are greater than or equal to 0 and they are integers since the, the given problem is maximization and all the constraints are less than or equal to uh, we can solve this by a uh, simplex method first we have to uh, first step we have to add the slack variables to all the constraints given here 2x plus 2y plus s1 equal to 7 x plus s2 equal to 2 y plus s3 equal to 2 and finally the objective function z will become z equal to 2x plus 3y plus 0 s1 plus 0 s2 plus 0 s3 where all these variables x y s1 s2 s3 are all greater than or equal to 0 first iteration basic variables we have to list all the variables present in the constraints given we have to write their corresponding coefficients given in the objective function here we have to write the slack variables and their coefficients in the objective function here we have to write just the coefficients of each variables in each constraint given we have to find zj which is multiplying uh, these column values with the corresponding uh, cbj column values and we have to multiply each element and we have to add those three uh, product values and finally we have to write it in the zj for finding cj minus zj we have to subtract these cj minus zj values from this uh, zj which will be 2 minus 0 2 3 minus 0 3 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 and 0 minus 0 is finally 0 uh, we have for the simplex method we have to find a pivot row and pivot column uh, first here we have to take for finding the pivot column we have to take the maximum value present in cj minus zj because the problem given is maximization here the maximum value is 3 so this will be the corresponding uh, pivot column for finding the ratio we have to divide the solution column values with this pivot column values 7 by 2 2 by 0 is uh, infinity 2 by 1 is 2 in the ratio values we have to take the least value which is nothing but 2 so this will be the corresponding pivot row for this iteration so here uh, s3 will be the leaving variable and y will be the entering variable so we have to continue the same iteration process iteration 2 
Now here instead of S3 we will replace the variable Y. And for writing these uh, pivot elements here, we have to find the intersection element here is 1. We have to make this element as 1 in this it next iteration table. Already we have the value here it is 1. So we need not replace these values. So we can write the values as it is. For finding the other values, we have to take the present value which is 1 and we have to subtract it with the pivot element 1 minus 0 and multiply that with the new pivot element in the next iteration table 0. So now it is 1 minus 0 into 0 which will be 1. 0 minus 0 into 1, 0. 0 minus 0 into 0, 0. 1 minus 0 into 0, 1. 0 minus 0 into 1, 0. 2 minus 0 into 2, it is 2. Again for uh, this row, it will be 2 minus 2 into 0. So it will be 0. Sorry, it will be 2. 2 minus 2 into 1, it will be 0. 1 minus 2 into 0, it is 1. 0 minus 2 into 0 it is 0 0 minus 2 into 1 so it is minus 2 7 minus 2 into 2 so it is 3 now again we have to find the zj values with so we have to multiply these elements with these elements so here it will be 0 3 0 0 3 6 Sorry, here the value will be uh, minus 1, not 0. So now again we have to find the Cj minus Zj value. So 2 minus 0, 2, 3 minus 3, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 3 is minus 3. Now we again we have to find the uh, maximum element which is nothing but 2 so this will be the corresponding pivot column. We have to find the ratio values which will be uh, 3 by 2, 2 by 1 is nothing but 2, 2 by 0 is infinity. So the minimum value here is 3 by 2. So this will be the corresponding pivot row. And this is the pivot column. So here uh, the entering uh, variable is uh, x and the leaving variable is s1. So we go for next iteration. This is iteration 3. The same process will be followed here also. So the final values will be again we have to find the uh, ZJ, which will be 2, 3, 1, 0, 1, 9. Again we have to find Cj minus Zj, 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 3, 0, 0 minus 1, minus 1, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 1, minus 1. Here all the Cj minus Zj values are less than or equal to 0. We have to stop the iteration here. For maximization problems, we will continue the iteration till all the values of Cj minus Zj becomes less than or equal to 0. So the final values of x will be uh, x is 3 by 2, y is 2 and z is 9. Since we find a fractional value here, we need only integer value. So we go for Gomori's cut method, which will be our second step. Uh, here we have to find the fractional part for all these var variables. 
x is nothing but 3 by 2 whose fractional part can be written as 1 plus 1 by 2 for y equal to 2 for uh, this fractional value will be 2 plus 0. We have to take the maximum of these two fractional values which will be maximum of fx and fy maximum of 1 by 2 and 0 the value will be 1 by 2. So we got this value 1 by 2 from the variable x. So we are, can take the corresponding uh, x row for finding the corresponding equation. So the equation will be 1x 0y plus 1 by 2 s1 plus 0 s2 minus s3 equal to 3 by 2. In that corresponding equation we have to split the integer value as a fractional values also which we can write as 1 plus 0 x plus 0 plus 1 by 2 s1 minus 1 plus 0 s3 equal to 1 plus 1 by 2. Now we can we have to consider only the fractional values alone and rewrite the equation as 0 x plus 1 by 2 s1 minus 0 s3 equal to 1 by 2. Since we finally got the equation as 1 by 2 s1 equal to 1 by 2. By default the constraint involved here will be uh, greater than or equal to. So 1 by 2 s1 greater than or equal to 1 by 2. Since it deals with maximization problem we have to change this constraint to less than or equal to by multiplying with minus 1. So minus 1 by 2 s1 less than or equal to minus 1 by 2. We have to convert this uh, constraint into equal to by adding Gomori slack variable which is minus 1 by 2 s1 plus g1 equal to minus 1 by 2. This equation, this new equation we got, it's the Gomori's cut equation. We have to include uh, this g1 will be the Gomori slack variable. We have to include this new constraint to the final table of our simplex method, which is that iteration 3 table. So, hence, the now new table will be. We have to include that uh, slack variable g1 also here. Here also we have to include that g1. these x s2 and y row values does not change the same values of that previous table can be copied as it is For writing the g1 row values, we have to consider this equation. Here we uh, don't find the tax va variable, so the coefficient is 0. For y also it is 0. We have s1. Its coefficient is minus 1 by 2, which will be written here as 1 minus 1 by 2. And s2 we don't find it that, so it is 0. s3 also 0. For g1 the coefficient is 1. And finally the solution is minus 1 by 2. Again we have to find the value of zj. We have to find Cj minus Zj. Here all the Cj minus Zj values are less than or equal to 0. Yet we find the solution values are all not positive. We have a negative value here. So we go for a dual simplex method. So additionally we have to find the value of theta. Before finding theta we have to select the pivot row where the least negative number will be selected which is nothing but minus 1 by 2. So this will be the pivot row. Now we have to find the value of theta by uh, dividing the value of cj minus zj with the uh, pivot row elements. 0 by 0 is 0 but we should not consider here. So it is dash 0 by 0 it is dash minus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 is 2 0 by 0 and here also we don't so only the left out values too if we have uh, one or more values we should select the least value here we have only one value so this will be the corresponding pivot row
so we go for the next iteration to so iteration 2 We again we have to follow the same simplex method process uh, here also. We have to find ZJ. We have now we have to find CJ minus ZJ values. Again, now all the values of CJ minus ZJ are less than or equal to zero. But we find all the values of solution are also positive. So the dual simplex method iteration stops here. And we get the final value of x is 1, y is 2, z is 8. So these are the final is Since we have all the values as integers for the given problem, uh, the z max will be 8 and the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 2. Now let us revise the problem from the beginning. The given problem is uh, maximization and all the constraints are less than or equal to so it satisfies so we directly add the slack variables to it plus s1 plus s2 plus s3 and we rewrite the objective function as 2xy 2x plus 3y plus 0 s1 plus 0 s2 plus 0 s3 and we follow the simplex method to solve this problem. For the first iteration we write uh, all the values as it is given in the constraint all the coefficients of those variables. And we have to find the pivot row and pivot column. For finding the pivot column, we have to take the maximum value here because the problem given is maximization. So here the value will be 3. This is the corresponding pivot column. For finding the ratio values, we have to divide the value of solution by these pivot column values. In the ratio section, we have to take the minimum value which is here is 2. So this will be the corresponding pivot row. First we have to, so S3 will be the leaving variable and Y will be the entering variable. So we we'll go go on to the iteration 2 where first we have to write uh, the pivot uh, row only. Where the intersection element we have to make it as uh, 1. Here already it is 1 so we need not replace this element. So the values as it is it will be written here. For writing the other values we have to take the present value, subtract it with the pivot element and then multiply with the new pivot return in that next table. The same process will be followed for all the values and we have to carry on this iteration till the all the values of cj minus zj becomes less than or equal to 0. So the iteration stops there and we can take the final value of x is 3 by 2, y is 2 and z is 9. Since we find the value of x is not an integer, it is a fractional value, we go for Gomori's cut method for the next step where we have to find the fractional values of these variables. 3 by 2 can be written as 1 plus 1 by 2, for 2 it is 2 plus 0. We have to find the maximum of these two fractional values which will be 1 by 2. We got this value 1 by 2 from the variable x. So we consider the row x in the table and we write the corresponding equation as 1x, 0y, 1 by 2 s1, 0 s2, minus s3 equal to 3 by 2. Now in the t equation we have to split the terms and write it as uh, 1 plus 0 x, 0 plus 1 by 2, 1 plus 0 s3 and 1 plus 1 by 2. Now again we have to consider only the fractional part of these values and rewrite the equation as like this. Finally when we solve this we have to make the constraint as less than or equal to and finally to convert the constraint into equal to we add a Gomori slack variable. These final equation will be that Gomori's cut equation. We have to include this constraint to the last stable of uh, the simplex method. So uh, the 
the same table will have to rewrite it again and just add a new row and column which is nothing but g1 and the corresponding coefficients we find in as s1 is minus 1 by 2 and g1 is 1 remaining all 0. Again we have to follow the same process by finding zj and cj minus zj. Here we find all the cj minus zj values are less than or equal to 0 yet we find a negative value in the solution column. So we go for dual simplex method where we have to calculate the value of theta. Before calculating theta, we have to find the pivot row which is nothing but the least negative value. So this, this will be the corresponding pivot row and we have to find the value of theta by dividing the value of uh, cj minus zj with the corresponding pivot row elements. 0 by 0 is 0 but we should not consider that for our uh, selection. So we put it as dash and we have to find all the values and in that we have to take the minimum value. Here we are left out with only one value so this will be the corresponding pivot column. So we go on for the next iteration, iteration 2 which is same as the tough uh, simplex method process. We have to do all the calculations and finally we got the cj minus zj values are less than or equal to 0 and all the solutions are also positive and they are all integers. So the uh, iteration stops here and the final value for x is 1, y is 2 and z is 8.